Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of a Top Pop Feature Fat Man, little boy. My name is Stephen Corka. Juan. And we are here to talk about the latest installment from Warner Brothers and their DC Expanded Universe. I think this is a DCEU movie, uh, in a sense. And it is Birds, and Prey, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, which they have now changed the name to Harley Quinn, colon, Birds of Prey, because... Uh, the movie did horrible in its opening weekend. Let's start there with the numbers. Numbers were bad, right? Mm -hmm. It did like 30-something million. Worst worst opening ever of a DC movie from the current DCEU. That's, that's starting with uh, Man of Steel all the way until present date. Um, do you think that opening... Uh, first of all, did you like the movie one? No. You didn't like the movie at all? At all. Do you think this opening reflects, reflects the movie... In retro, in comparison to all the other DCU movies, I, I think DC has a problem where um, they kind of just because of all their mistakes and failures, they've kind of fucked their brand. Do you think? Do you think that this movie um, is the worst movie to come out of DC? No, it's not. Since Man of Steel, no, no. What what would you put as the worst? Suicide movie? Squad. Really? So you th you think this is better than Suicide Squad? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. All right. So. Um, what what didn't you like about them? What, like, well, no, we we can we can. There's a lot of things. I guess. I liked Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn was phenomenal. She's Margot Robbie's great. She's she her is voice, great. the mannerisms, the way she talked, everything. The script was super weak. Um, her lines were terrible, but um, but she she put, she did what she could. I li listen. I liked it more than I thought I was gonna like it. I did. I did. I know you're you're hating on me right now, but. I, I did not think it was that bad. Uh, I went into the movie thinking it was going to be a male bashing, women's lib, like superhero flick. Uh, and and uh, it, it, I didn't, you know, it, those jabs were in there, but it was not the, the centerpiece of the movie by any means. Harley Quinn, of course, was the centerpiece. The, like you said on uh, our live shows that we do, it, they should have just called the movie Harley Quinn. Right. Uh, which, of course, Warner Brothers recognized, and they changed shortly after you said that. Because, um, I mean, there weren't really the Birds of Prey till till like the last, last 20, minutes, 20 minutes, if now. that. Um, spoilers, guys. Spo lots of spoilers happening, because I know a lot of you haven't seen this movie since the, 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 the box office isn't good. Uh, so, listen, first of all, this is, a, this is an R-rated movie. Um, it's uh, DC and Warner Brothers' uh, second R-rated movie uh, behind uh, Joker, which Joker took in over a billion dollars, uh, and I guess DC wanted to see if they can capitalize this. I think, I said this to you, I think uh, this movie was DC's answer to Fox's Deadpool. Um, I think they see Harley Quinn as um, a as their Deadpool. For years. F uh, foul mouth, uh, j uh, funny, I was going to say Joker, but that doesn't mean, you know, that'd be bad. But, uh, it, and uh, I don't think it compares to Deadpool. I don't think it's the same same thing at all. But Mar I do agree with you, Margot Robbie did a fabulous job as uh as Harley Quinn. Uh, we did not see Joker at all in the movie. I was annoyed by the fact that she had a Harley Quinn shirt on. What, a shirt that said Harley Quinn? Yeah. All over the place? Yeah. Why? It just annoyed me. Really? It didn't bother me. Uh, none of her costumes bothered me. With the, I didn't like her gold jumpsuit at the end of the no. movie. Like, it, it just, I didn't like it at all. Like, not even a little bit. Um, but, so Harley Quinn did a great job. The, um, let's talk about the main villain. Um, Cassie, what I don't even know what his fucking name is. What do we have? His Black Mask. Black Mask or Cassie Simeon Sanois. Sanois, whatever the hell it is, uh, A.K.A. Black Mask from Birds of Prey. Um, and yeah, Sionis. Uh, Roman, Roman, Roman Sionis. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, we had to reference one of our pop figures to see who that is. Which we have plenty of Birds of Prey pops, kids, if you want them. Um, Ewan McGregor was great. I thought he was great. Oh yeah, he was really good. Really good. Like like the guy looks great for his age. I he he's got to be what five six years older than us, maybe mm -hmm. maybe even ten. I hope I hope to God, yeah, you know, I I could pull my stuff together to 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 even come close to that. Like goddamn, like like dude looked like a rock star. You know he was good. And when he was on st when he was on screen, he owned the screen. Except for the fact that what he didn't wear a black mask. 
Well, yes, yeah. To the last two minutes. To the very, to the very. You told me to shut up when I was trying to explain to my son. No, because you were no Wonski in the theater. Guys was a fucking asshole. Like, like we weren't the only ones in there. And Juan decided to be like, be that guy that be like, oh, like I don't even know what you say. Would you? Would, would, I was explaining to my son that that was black mask, even though he has no fucking mask on. And it would have been real easy for me not to have had that conversation with him if they gave him a black mask. I, I, and I, hopefully sa- I, I helped out everyone I, I else. Said, in the audience I said too. not to say anything because because they didn't really reveal it yet. Like you kind of spoiled it. No, this like is, we no. know it. They all knew. Well, and the other thing, you, you kept... I was helping everyone out. You kept dropping lines in the movie theater, too, like, oh, that's so funny, men suck. Because it was funny, because you have a detective there, uh, Rosie Perez detective, that's a fucking bumbling idiot. Like, how the fuck does he become a detective? Are there detectives that fucking stupid? I mean, this it, guy it, is, like, borderline. It's like, like it's like in Black Panther when they made the, the white CIA agent the yeah. stupidest person in the room. Yeah. As if a CIA agent at that level would be a fucking idiot. Yeah, and I don't... Or an Ant-Man, too. I'm the, saying... The Asian guy. I'm saying there's dumb cops. That they made dumb. There are dumb yeah. cops. Of course, yeah, yeah. But this guy... Yeah. ...was, like, beyond fucking idiotic. Like, this guy was, like... Like bumbling. Bill Barr, he's a yeah. dumb cop. Like, he, like, drops shit. Like, I'm <laughs> Like, it was bad. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I had to make that comment because I, I was happy now that uh, that he was portrayed that way because it's great. It doesn't take me out of the movie at all. All right, so so first of all, we loved Harley, the main character, the, the hero, and we, Roman. We loved Roman, great. the main villain. Sure. Like so, so the yin and the yang, we loved. We loved the bad guy. We loved the good guy or good girl, Anti-hero. should we say? Yes. Uh, and uh, let's. Uh, you, you brought up Rosie Perez. Let's talk about Rosie Perez, who plays Renee Montoya. Who is another character created from the Paul Dini universe of Batman the Animated Series, just like Harley Quinn? Uh, she's much older in this movie. I wait, hold on about, about Harley. I I really enjoyed the cartoon in the beginning. Oh, the cartoon. That yeah. was good. Yeah, the the, the cartoon, nice the, the montage. Uh, there's a lot of lot of little things I enjoyed about which 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 contributes to why I I like the movie. Let's, so let's Rosie talk about Perez, the character. Uh, that character sucked. Ren- Renee Montoya. Renee Montoya, the character. Sucked. Which where did Ro- like? Rosie's like really thick New York accent was clearly an act like in the 90s cuz like it just wasn't there you know which is why I think who's, it's also been like 30 years well still though who's who's the girl on modern family the Colombian chick Sofia Vergara. Sofia Vergara like she overdoes her accent too she yeah, there, there's yeah. no way there's the like 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 she over drama dra- dra- dramatizes that which Rosie Perez does for, like her accent just wasn't there but anyways uh, why didn't you like her what you, she was completely unnecessary. Like, if she's not in the movie, it doesn't change the movie. Yeah. Uh, I did not like her character. Yeah, and she, at all, and and not a badass either. Like, got the shit kicked out of her like yeah. a lot of times. Um, she was more in the way. Yeah, I, I than just, helpful. And 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 her connection to the police department didn't pay off either because no. the cops didn't give a fuck about anything she had to say. She actually got suspended. Guys, spoilers. Because uh, she's so much smarter than all those stupid men. <laughs> yeah. All right. So all the stupid men needed to all protect right, so themselves. I agree. We, di- we didn't like Renee Montoya, one of the supporting characters. Let's talk about another ma- oh. major, major character in the movie was Cassandra Cain. Awful. Uh, who is uh, I- horrible. I agree. I- so in the movie, okay, guys, in the movie she is uh, a-, a young tween, heavy set Asian woman. And uh, that's a pickpocketer, a really good one at that too. Um, and I mean, everyone constantly knew that she had pickpocketed them. So, um, yeah, like the old, she took my priest. Yeah, but she she did it pretty like slick. She, she kept, did whatever. Uh, she did priest. Either way, either way. I've seen uh, better. Either way, heavy set, uh, tween, uh, Asian woman, uh, and uh, or girl, should I say, and uh, pickpocketer. And uh, she's she's really the center of the of the movie outside of a Harley Quinn because she has this diamond with has this encoding in it, uh, and she stole it off of Zaz, which we'll get to him in a second. And uh, she swallowed the diamond, and so so Roman or Black Mask and all the henchmen, because apparently Roman and his henchmen are the only Gotham City villains, and there's where there's no Batman apparently either, but whatever, uh, that are going after this girl and have a bounty on her as well as Harley Quinn. So Harley Quinn's like uh, captured her and is protecting her, and it's a big shit show. Either way, here's why this character sucks. It's not because she's a tween, heavy set Asian girl that's a pickpocketer. It's because they called her Cassandra Kane. And if you guys don't know your comic books, Cassandra Kane is 
a mute badass, and I mean badass assassin. Her father's a fucking crazy psychopath assassin. As yes, well. and, and like, and she becomes Batgirl, and she becomes Batgirl. In, that doesn't talk in one of the best Batman stories, No Man's Land ever. Um, she still is in the Bat universe and the Bat family. I forget what her what her superhero name is now. For those of you that uh have never read No Man's Land, I was just explaining to a friend of mine. It's basically. Escape from New York, where Batman is Snake Plissken. Yeah, great story, great storyline for sure. And Cassandra Kane was great. And I remember no one knew who the hell she was. She covered her face. Right. Uh, it, it was it was awesome. And to see uh, a young, heavy set Asian girl that's n- never Not never going to be never going to be an uh, like Cassandra Kane in the DCEU will never be an assassin unless she goes to uh, you know. Uh, CrossFit for the next year every single day and and l- trains with Raza Ghoul's fucking family, which just won't happen. So Cassandra Kane, as we know her in the comics, will never be realized in the cinematic universe. So and I and it's for that, that reason that Cassandra Kane in Birds of Prey is hot garbage. And her character was just fucking annoying. Aside from the fact that Cassandra Kane wasn't Cassandra Kane, I didn't know. I didn't mind her character. I found. I, I, no, I no. I, didn't, I had. Listen. I found her super annoying. And in that last fight scene, when she keeps getting in the way, yeah, I wasn't like, oh, that's so cute. I was like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't like that. But I liked. I liked. You know, I. I like. I like the way she talked. I like her vulgarity. I. I. I like the vulgar. I. I love R-rated movies. I love curse words. I love profanity. Like. I like. And just to hear her talk, I, I, I enjoyed that. I, I hated her. I liked the character. I just didn't like that they called her Cassandra Kane and it ruined the character Cassandra Kane. I didn't like her. Okay. Let's talk about the next one, uh, Black Canary. So Black Canary was fine. Black Canary was great. I thought she was great. Really great. And, and, so she's a singer. And mm, nice. right. uh, unlike the Black Canary we know that's married to Green Arrow with the fishnet legging, uh, she is uh, uh, African American or, or, or of black descent, uh, wherever that may be. But spoilers, guys! No way, dude. She's a mixed kid. She's half black, half white. Because guess what? What? Black Canary is her mother. Ah. Uh. Remember they alluded to that? Spoilers, guys. So the original Black Canary died in the streets from some horrible way, which we didn't really get into much, but Renee Montoya knew all about it and threw it in this Black Canary's face. And we actually saw Black Canary use her uh, sonic scream powers one time towards the end of the movie, towards the third act, and uh, and she was good. She was good. So, And here's the one thing. Like, I didn't obviously, um, you know, because that's one of the things that, like, some comic book uh, people complain about, and I think that sometimes um, the the... Their, their complaints are just because they're racist or they're assholes. Yeah. And sometimes they're justified. You know, uh, And both sides don't really agree. Yeah. Right? Um, it, it's all about transferring the character. So in Black Canary's case, she was so well done that I didn't care. Her race didn't bother me. Her not wearing fishnets did. I agree, but... Which is super fucking weird, no, right? I, I, I agree with you 100%. However... However, she wore fishnets at the end in the third yeah, act. Oh, right. But it was on her arms it was instead on, of her yeah. legs. So yes. I know that's yeah. like, so in, in this case. I'm um, with you. I'm with you. The race the race thing doesn't matter because I don't believe that that's important to Black Canary whatsoever. No. Um, you know, it, a good example is when Titans came out on DC uh, mm-hmm. Universe and everyone shit Starfire. on Starfire. Which Starfire, the girl who plays Starfire in the movie is great. Yeah, beca- beca- I'm not the, the show. That stuff so. doesn't really matter. It, it, but, you know what? It, it matters sometimes. It, 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 there, there are some instances where, like, come on, you can't fuck with that. Like, Batman can never be black. Well, they're they're gonna. Well, Batman. You, can, no, no, I'm sorry, Bruce Wayne. Bruce. Well, Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Wayne. Batman yeah. can never be black. Because Lucius Fox's son is gonna be old Batman now. Well, he's not Batman. He's a uh, the signal. Right, but he's gonna be Batman. No, Robert Pattinson. In the comics. Oh, really? Well, that's whatever. But but what I'm saying is like Bruce Wayne, Batman can never be right, right. black. You know, he comes from old money. It just can't happen. Right, it wouldn't make sense. But Black Canary sense. didn't matter, and Black Canary was actually really good. I uh, I enjoyed her. I really liked her a lot. I did, too. I did, too. And the nose ring bothered me. It bothered you? Yeah, it was a little off. Didn't bother me, though. Uh, let's talk about the final bird of prey, which oh. was Huntress. Talk about fucking up a character. No, I loved it. I loved Huntress. Come back, come back. No, no. I loved Huntress. But guys, guess what? Huntress apparently is the daughter of a criminal family in Gotham that gets slaughtered by uh, an opposing criminal family, and she is the lone survivor. Not Falcone. Not Falcone. I don't even know the name of the Falcone. Doesn't exist. 
Yeah, yeah. There's a couple things that don't exist apparently in this movie. This whole thing that really bothered me. Yeah, but uh, uh, and she ends up surviving. She goes to Italy where she's trained by a family of assassins and uh, comes back and seeks revenge on on her uh, on on the three guys that shot down her family and the could, guy that watched. See, all this could easily be solved if they just acknowledged Ra's al Ghul and the League of Assassins. All these problems that I'm having. Could yeah. Why, why do they? They're afraid to make a comic bookie. What, that, you know, listen, for all the shit that people talk about Marvel, they try. Like, they try. Sometimes they fail at the comic book stuff. Captain Marvel? Like, or Yeah, or Captain America being the god of thunder. Like, that's not in comics. But there's still comic moments, right? Yeah. You can see it in a comic. Warner Brothers tries to stay away from the comics. It's really annoying. This is what bothers me about the DCEU, right? See, but no, I, I, see, I, I hear you, but this is what I liked about the DCEU. I like the fact that the DCEU brought an odd sense of... If this really happened in the real world, how would it go down? Like, it wouldn't be all fucking colors and, and happiness. Like, like that. that's why Zack Snyder's vision, I'm all I'm behind. I'm sure it would be I'm really hard it. It, to it, slaughter, like, the biggest crime family in Gotham. It'd be really harder than three guys happen to get the whole family together. Of course, nah. dude. Of course, like I don't, I don't use that as an excuse. I'm just saying it's not very comic-y. I hated, hated Huntress. Huntress was one of the worst fucking characters. No, I loved. I, listen, this is why I loved Huntress because she was so fucked up. First of all, the she outfit be, I hated. Outfit sucked. Yes, uh, I didn't like the girl they picked to, to do it. You know what? I and when she stands by the other, the I, listen. This is fucking. This is such a stupid complaint. I she mean, looked like she was like nine feet tall, like compared to everyone else. It was really annoying. I liked her. <laughs> listen, I liked her because I. She was just. She she was awkward. You like like she didn't she she tried to be cool. She tried to be tough, but she didn't know how. She was clearly a badass. She was like the, she was the toughest person in the fucking room, you know. But but she was just awkward. She she had a hard time fitting in. She was socially awkward, and it was it was her social awkwardness that I loved about the character. And it mm -hmm. and it made sense coming from someone who was just so fucked up because they spent their whole life wouldn't, plotting revenge because assassins be trained to fit in. Anyways. Fuck you, dude. Whatever. I'm just saying. I liked Huntress. I liked Huntress. Hated it. I liked Huntress. All right, let's talk about Zaz. Ooh. I didn't even know it was Zaz. I didn't know either until they said Zaz. Yeah. Yeah. I had I right. had an inclination, obviously, because yeah. of scars on yes. the face. But yeah. there was like two scars. All right, guys, if you don't know this, Zaz is a Batman villain who, who every time he kills someone, like, puts a scar in his body, and he's loaded with scars, like, everywhere. Um... To be fair, he had a fair amount of scars on his body. That's yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of people he no, killed. No, he killed a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but his character was, like, goofy. He, he was a henchman. He wasn't even a main guy. He was, but like... he was, like, goofy, he right? Was, he was a little goofy. He was a little off, which I get it. Like, listen, if you're a dude that kills people and, and, and fucking scars yourself with every death that you make, well, you haven't you're seen, not going to be all put together. You, you haven't know? seen the TV show Gotham. I think that in Gotham they did Zaz correctly. No, I didn't see the Gotham yeah. version of that. Uh, and his hair, like, kind of just... I didn't mind. I didn't mind the way he looked. I didn't mind that. Uh, I it, it was the it it, it was the. Um, he also just didn't seem like a badass. They didn't show him being a badass. They, he was not a badass. He was not a. And badass. Zaz is a badass. Yeah, they did not show him being a badass. But uh, they could for for the movie. Like in the comics, Zaz listen, would have gone into that police station by himself. Listen, Zaz to the diamond. Zaz is retrieve. Zaz is fucking crazy. He kills people in like really nasty like saw type of ways no. you know uh, and uh for this being a rated r movie dc had an opportunity to really like throw a really dark fucked up scene in there of this guy you know and really just get into the mind of why this guy's oh, so peeling fucked off up. the people's faces yes no that was pretty bad too but that was more black masks mo than it was zaz you know um zaz was just zaz was a do boy no, and that's what I didn't like about his. And he character. had no moments to himself. He didn't. He didn't. And except when he was in the car with Black Canary a few times, which even then, like whatever. Yeah, it was whatever. He was a do boy, and that's what I didn't like about him yeah, because I didn't like that. he's he's a lot darker than that. Um, so those were the pretty much the main characters in the movie. A lot of other side characters, right? Am I, I um, I wish I could comment on any other hero that would have been in Gotham at the time, but uh, none of them are there. Yeah. So so here's here's what I didn't no like. No villains. Here's here's nothing. what here's what I didn't like about the movie. Okay. First of all, Harley Quinn. Uh, she 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 references the Joker a gazillion times throughout yeah. the movie, like a gazillion times. Uh, she. I like the hyena. Nice touch. Yeah. She references Suicide Squad movie. We see a little uh, picture cameo of Boomerang. 
Uh, there's a throwback to her origin with Joker. We see we see uh, uh, what, what's his name's Joker from the back. Uh, you know, 100. percent That's going to be DC's next Black Label movie, right? What? When when you just make it the Harley Quinn backstory? We got it in Suicide Squad. Unless you talk about her childhood. No. Yeah. I don't. I, you know what? I don't remember it. Listen, th- listen. Th- Suicide Squad is canon. It's part of this movie. I don't remember. Suicide they Squad. recognized it. They talked about all of it. Um, w- here's what here's what I didn't like about the movie. Uh, first of all, there's a good twenty minutes in the center of the movie that is just slow as fuck. Like it just comes to a fucking slow drag where they try to find these like emotional moments to connect the audience with the characters and it just did not work for me like the the opening was great the ending was great the middle the meat of the story was just like oh come on guys let's go i didn't like that i hated they they killed off zaz and they killed off black mask like nothing like quick like threw them out like they were nothing treated them like they were just other henchmen like bam you're dead well because they are men well, either so way. they're not good at anything. Like Zaz, Zaz died quick, which is the fucking thing. But how cute was it when Harley was kept stabbing Zaz? Yeah, because she was paralyzed. That was good. I mean, the mo- yeah. look, man, the movie had its moments. Little yeah, moments. But I found myself hating things more than than liking them. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I didn't like how Black Mask literally got blown up on on a pier. Yeah. You know, and, and that was it. It's like, oh, that was my little quick. pocket. Just like, oh, yeah, that was that was fucking fast. Yeah, you know what else I didn't like? Uh, the, the the abandoned carnival and all that stuff. It felt very like Scooby Doo, old Joker-ish. school Batman. I, I like, I was like, this would never happen in real life. You know, there would never be like an abandoned amusement park in a major city with an abandoned pier at that as well on on the docks of God knows what. You know, like it it, it was so cartoony, like beyond cartoony, like. Uh, the, the, this the, I I liked seeing Gotham City during the day, which we don't get a lot of. New York. Um, and uh, but I didn't like look like zero acknowledgement about Batman until the very end. Well, she didn't name her hyena Bruce. Did she? I didn't catch that. No, but e- even so, like which was funny because it's like for a moment there the hyena looked like looked like just Bruce Wayne. He just looked angry and just like. Okay. I, yeah. No. I, I didn't. But not ca- angry in a hyena way. Angry in a human way. I didn't catch that. Uh, wh- what I will say is, like, there were plenty of opportunities to reference the Dark Knight or at least one of his other characters, Robin. Who the fuck knows? Because she blows up Acme Chemicals, a huge fucking thing. The cops are involved in it, in the whole thing, but no mention of Batman, no bat signal, nothing. Yeah. You know, and just e- people being killed on the street. You know, and- e- even if even if like they showed Harley hiding as the Batmobile fucking drives something. Give me something, you know, because Batman would just would not be not there unless he's in space I mean, with the that's, Justice that's League. That's always an argument against all these like uh, Marvel movies, you know? What's that? It's like all these world-ending events and like where the fuck is Thor? Which movie are we talking about? I don't know any of them. Thor was—I mean, Thor was off-world in Infinity War. Oh, maybe not. Do they explain it well? I don't know. I think they did. Yeah. Um, another thing I didn't like is they spend a good ten to fifteen minutes on this action sequence in the police station. So, uh, I look. hated the first part because she would have been shot dead. Yes. But again, they are male cops, and we know male cops don't do anything right. Okay. Males don't do anything right. Yes. So I understand how she survived that because men are stupid. But um, I'll tell you what, because a lot of people told me, well, Juan, you're going to like the action because the guys that choreographed the action are the guys from John Wick. Okay. Right. So I was looking for the action, right? Action was good. I love the fight in the garage from the police station. Yeah. Where she finds her bats at first. Mm-hmm. That was fucking great. Yeah. The fight at the end of the movie in the carnival sucked ass. Yeah, it was because I just it was like I understand they were trying to use the props, but like, like Huntress just like bouncing around and shooting someone really doesn't do it for me. As opposed to the action, like some of the cool shit when when Harley like kicked that hammer and it flew back and she happened to catch it, you know, yeah. like that was really really cool. The carnival fight I thought was garbage though. Carnival fight was garbage, and it sucked because all of them were together. It should have been an epic Look, moment. Look, the, right? the the police station fight was great too, even with with her like. Her her colorful smoke and yeah, and, yeah. and and the confetti and all that like it it was great it was colorful it right. was it was it was really well choreographed the thing I didn't like it just like you say like she would have been fucking shot dead like right away like there were cops literally like oh leave me alone like oh, yeah, shaking. like 
Like, come on, dude. Like, well, the male cop. No one would draw their weapon. Like, come on. That and, does... and like, I know that for movies, we, we there's a suspension of disbelief. But again, if if the whole excuse is that DC is going for a more realistic feel, then you can't get away with things like that. I mean, look, DC. All you had to do was watch Terminator One and watch Arnold go into the police station and just recreate that scene with Harley Quinn. Do that, you're good to go. Mm-hmm. You know, and of course, don't kill the cops. You know, because in Terminator, he gets, he kills all the cops. Uh, but, I mean, listen, we're talking about this movie now. We're saying more good things than bad things. This is why I... You are. You are too, dude. No, I liked Harley. I liked Roman. Dude, you liked everyone with the exception of Huntress. No. And Cassandra Cain. N- and Zaz. Yeah. I like black. I liked three people. I hated like four. You hated three. You liked three. Oh, I hated the captain. And you and you like dude, shut up, fuck you. You're just looking for things now. You like the action, you know? No, I liked one scene. You liked everything except the end. There should have been way more action. Oh, my son, by the way, he apparently was asking me if Harley Quinn if her power set includes good luck. No. Because they very they dominoed her. She has no power set, actually. Right, but you know. Yeah. She's just the way a things worked out for her. You know, seem like you know. But domino. she she mentioned that she was like, "Oh, that's just good luck," you know. Yeah, I well, just got lucky, like that 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 scene lot. where she shoots the guy in the head. Yeah. Uh, here's what I don't want. This movie's not doing good right now. It's gonna it's gonna make its money back. I think I think the budget was like a hundred mil, a hundred million, and they've already surpassed that with marketing and everything, and then digital sales. It's gonna break even at least. Um, I don't want Warner Brothers to be spooked by this. And to totally try to reinvent the wheel all over again. I think they're on to something with Joker. I think they're on to something with No, this. they're not on to something with Joker, man. No, no dude, everyone loved Joker except no, you. No, man, because Joker is not a superhero movie. It's not a comic book movie. Doesn't It's in the category. No, you know what Joker is? What do you, what is, do you, it, is she naked in this movie? No, okay. I'm like, what's Blade Runner? I don't, I don't know. I'm just making sure we're not you know, showing cities. So, so, so you know what Joker is, right? Joker is a, 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 yeah, a movie. I, I know what it is. About yes. someone with, men, with yes. like, right? Yes. A schizophrenic. Yes. And all they do is they sprinkle in Gotham listen, references. What I'm trying to listen. What I'm trying to Why say. Why are they afraid of superpowers? Listen. Here's what I'm trying to say. Okay, ready? Check it out. Marvel, Marvel has the crown right now. They're going to maintain that crown for some time. I'm interested to see what happens with Black Widow. I'm interested to see what, with what happens, what happens with Eternals. But, but. Marvel holds the crown. They're coming up with these TV shows, which everyone's going to watch and everyone's going to because they know how to make right, comic but, book but, movies. But Marvel is never going to go beyond PG thirteen. They're I, just I, not. I don't know. I, about I that, think man. I think Warner Brothers and DC has an opportunity. How, how are you doing? I I think they have an opportunity to go in hard on 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 the the adult side of these movies that we're not They've getting from terrible. Marvel. It's been terrible. Like I'm I'm telling you, Suicide Squad, James Gunn's Suicide Squad, it will be rated R. No it won't. Yes it will. It's gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy. No, it's gonna be rated R. And that's R. why DC got him. No, it's gonna be rated R. i I'll, I'll put money on it. It's gonna be rated R. No. And it's gonna be great. We're gonna love Suicide Squad. I know it already. No, I I'm gonna hate it. No, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Um either way. Dude, why were there forty fucking hours worth of trailers? Because <sighs> that's 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 the movies Jesus now. Christ. Which I thought I thought that theater we went to like doesn't do like when we I don't know what happened with Thor we got fucked up when we went to go see it. Either way, guys, Birds of Prey. Uh, you got to go see the movie. Support no. support the movies, anyways. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. The movie's not as bad as he's making it. It out really to be. is. It's really not. It's really not. It's really not. This is how you know what maybe like people talk shit. People like to talk shit about me. Yep. Well, here's how I see things. Right. Yep. Go. If I lose some weight and don't have a heart attack in the next five years, let's say, pretend I make it. Okay. Probably going to live around 80 years, right? <laughs> sure. Right. It's a limited amount of time. Yes. In these 80 years, I have to fit in all the things that I want to do. So whenever I watch a movie or a TV show or play a video game or do anything I want to do, right, this movie costs an hour and 40 minutes of my actual life. Really? Plus driving times, plus previews, mm-hmm. right? Is it worth giving up two and a half hours of my life? I, I can never get back. I, I no, have, I it would have been better no, spent somewhere else. No, I, so I, think I, guys, I, I have an answer for if you. If there's something no, no, else. No, 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 let me counter that. How many episodes of Lock and Key did you watch? Too many, man. How many did you watch? Yeah, like all of it. Which is, what, eight hours? Yeah, probably like around eight, ten hours. 
I rest my case. Guys. Another waste of my life, though. What do you, I, you didn't I, rest your case. I, rest my I case. hated lock and key as well. So what? You you spent eight hours and yeah, I wasted my life. Yeah, whatever. But you know, to be fair, I would have given up that show a lot sooner if my daughter didn't like it. Whatever. At least my kids like this movie. Look, whatever, guys. Birds of Prey is good. Go it's watch a waste it. Of life. S- support support the movie and listen. Listen, Warner Brothers. And DC. Uh, I watched the first few episodes of Better Call Saul season uh, four. Did watch we, that. Instead. We're not even talking about that right now. We're oh, I'm giving about, them an option. Listen, if anything, just go to see Margot Robbie and Harley Quinn, which do, she does a phenomenal job she does a good on the job. character. A phenomenal job. She looks great, of course, and she does a great job at the character. And the villain Roman, uh, Ewan McGregor, does a fabulous job as well. Like really, like they, like I wish the writing good. was good. It, they, they 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 did good. Those two characters, watching those two on screen is is enough reason to go see the movie. Wow. Yeah, and I liked Huntress, dude. I'm I'm in. Oh, we'll just uh, disagree. Anyways, guys, listen. That's Birds of Prey. It's out in theaters right now. Uh, go check it out. You can come see us at any one of our three locations. We're right here in Miami on 107th and 8th Street, across from FIU. You can also reach us over at uh, Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just east of University, and then Coral Gables on Lejeune. Just Better Call off Saul US season four one. is on Netflix. Uh, Birds of Prey from Warner Brothers and DC. Better Call Saul uh, is out in theaters. Altered Carbon's coming out now. in a couple weeks. So go see Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One uh, Harley Parasite Quinn. Parasite is or now Or should on I demand. say, uh, should I say Harley Quinn colon Birds of Prey? I love how we're talking on top of each other. That's great. Anyways, all right, guys, for a top off, I'm Batman, a little boy. Uh, I'm Stephen. I'm Juan. Later, guys.